Now we're getting onto the really awkward stuff. Stuff you don't even want to do. Cattle clippers. Not sheep clippers. These are cordless cattle clippers. Ergo Pro. Now, these just look fairly cheap. But they are not cheap. These things are expensive as hell. So, contacts for the looks of it. Now, test the batteries as well. Quality of these things, these things here is just dire. Well, they're probably the problem straight away. Rusty connections. That one charges. Yep. Yeah, same thing. Imagine the connections down in here be rusted as well. You can see the rust in that one. Not exactly for lying on the shed type things. Let's face it, on a farm, where else are they going to be kept? Yeah, we'll get on there. Have we look? There's even mold growing on the damn thing, though. If we get them running, we'll give them a wee clean down. One screw there. One screw there. That whole head comes off. It's all that's holding it. A nice big plastic gear. Which of course eventually strips out. Ran by one wee pinion gear. It's not to say she's on there tight. Look at the slop that's on that. That's the motor moving. She's starting up and she's stopping. Maybe these batteries might be just flat as well. Not too much shit in that one. Side, there is next to nothing. One wee slide switch, piece of plastic, activating the micro switch, hooked up to a wee battery retainer, onto one motor. That's it. Nine in these things at all. And the battery retainer is not rusted. Should be okay. Main thing I can move can be wrong with these. I always have them over tightened. That there's stuff. And you can feel how hard it is to turn that gear directly off. A 12 volt motor. So I need to have them fairly slack. Them to work it all properly. And make no bones about it. This is crap. 
These are generally for debugging cattle. As I'm cutting the shit off the cow's ass, that's stuck to the hair. So that's just hair and shit. Look at the crap on there. It should lift up once this is out. Well, it's not lifting very much because there's that much hair and shit inside here. Like I say, these things are not cheap. Three or four hundred euro for a set of these here. Even with these old NICAD batteries. And there's just nothing to them. At least the screws are stainless. That helps. Wonder why they're struggling to run. Jammed up with all that crap. Or dung, as I should say. How can anybody expect them to work? that much shit in it. Right. And then a final wee clean up. Get rid of the goo. Right. That's them cleaned up. As I'm going to get on it. And these don't take a laugh, a lot of grease. Just enough and no more. So give these a quick wee sharpen, just so they have a half decent age.
that's about too tight. And that's perfect. Aren't going to be she for shearing sheep or anything. Only light duty. Debunging cattle, maybe on a few, clipping a sh few show animals, maybe. That's about it. But generally, they're for debunging. That's on, sh on a cow, takes a dump. It generally gets stuck to its ass, gets caked on. I'm going to get the shite off after so many weeks. Keep the cow healthy, just in case it could get infected or something like that. So remove the shite. You're not going to wash the cow's ass, so generally just shave off the shite along with the hair. And that's what these come in good for. Touch of grease is all it needs. It's only a plastic gear, as you can see. Barely anything in there from the beginning. From from the factory and that just slides on that's it one pair of cordless shears tidied up just to go off the excess grease That's them. Tied it up nicely. Ergo Pro. Yeah. That's her. Keep them happy for a while longer. Help keep the shite off the cows for a bit longer.